everybody welcome back to the channel and today we'll be looking at Adobe XD 20 which is actually the June update and this is something I'm very very excited for because it has some very cool features which I was looking forward to and they're finally in Adobe XD so the first feature you can is visually present as well this is called the plugins panel and um, the plugins panel contains all the plugins that you've installed on your device and uh, uh, the best part is not only has it characterized all of these in an alphabetical order it also gives the icon of the plugin so you can associate your uh, your plugins with an icon and it's much easier to find a plugin this way the only thing which is missing here is that i can't search for plugins and I wish that was there as well. Uh, another thing that is very important in the plugins update is that uh, any plugin which has uh, advanced features, like if I go to the plugins tab here and I can look at more features inside these or more functions inside these, are also existent here as a drop down. So this kind of opens up and you can apply whatever uh, function you want from here onto your project and that is super cool so you don't um, the dependency on this plugin tab on the top is completely gone uh, no. and also you can also add plugins by clicking this add icon you can discover plugins and then add them and they'll be easily added here in your list of plugins another cool thing that has been added to adobe xd20 is the support for sub and subscript and superscript so if i type in say my name right so I just typed in my name and I'm just going to increase the size right here. And uh, here I want a plus icon to come on top like a superscript or a race to the power kind of a thing, right? So I'll just type in plus here. I'll highlight this plus and I will go here in the text um, editing portion and I'll say superscript. See how it's changed to a superscript? I can even do a subscript that means it'll come below the actual line of text and I can do this with uh, I can make this say uh, two raised to the power two right two root two and I can do this by just highlighting the two here and just clicking on superscript and as you can see there's now two raised to the power two so this is a quick little uh, text formatting uh, update and this is awesome because this will help out uh, a lot of designers who are designing for scale and also uh, I see this going in the right direction so in, hopefully in the future updates we'll get some more awesome uh, text uh, formatting based uh, features that'll be pretty pretty awesome another new thing with Adobe XD is actually when it comes to prototyping so if I want to prototype from one artboard to the other uh, earlier there used to be a sort of pop-up or a model which used to come up here and I used to select all my options that was a little convenient but now they've transferred that to the property window right here so you can change your interactions you can change tap uh, you can activate auto animate everything remains the same the only difference is that it's on the right it's fixed here and also you also have fixed position when scrolling option so this was something that was there before as well and uh, now they've just added everything on this properties tab on the right so this will take a little time for you to get used to I was at work and it was very difficult for me to understand uh, this change I often used to just uh, try and click here again and again till the model would come up so that was a little tricky but you know it has a little learning curve to it but I hope I'll get used to it and I hope everybody gets used to it real quick okay another update is not uh, visual but uh, it's actually more related to what services work with Adobe XD so Jira is one of the softwares that has integration inside Adobe XD and the good thing about the new update is um, that XD for Jira 2.0 uh, 
uh, this integration will basically allow uh, Adobe XD uh, details to be passed on to Jira much more efficiently. So that was actually just it. This is a small update, but this is a crucial update because one of my favorite features is the plugins. Uh, I want to know what your favorite feature in this update is or in general is in Adobe XD. Uh, put that down in the comments and tell me how you like Adobe XD and what feature you like best. I hope you liked that video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because that really helps my channel grow. And also hit that like button and I'll see you every Monday and Thursday, same time. God bless.